Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So, in this lesson, before we continue on with the script, let's just downsize my node develop and we'll come to the scene. Now, as you can see, I've just very quickly done a simple terrain and we'll select the directional light and we're going to hit play. Now, if we look at the ground, as you can see, it's dark because our directional light is only just beginning to creep up from zero. But as you can see, the scene is still quite light. And this is for two reasons. So if we stop that and we come to window and lighting. And we will be doing skyboxes at a later date because this is one thing that can alter the brightness within the scene but another one is this the ambient intensity and as you can see it's actually linked to the skybox in this scene so we need a way in which to lower this intensity and we're going to do that in script so it's going to adjust up and down in much the same way that our directional light does as well so I can actually I'm going to uncheck auto and we'll close that window and we'll come back to the script so first things first before we can adjust the ambient light we need to get everything set up so that's what we're going to do in this video and I'm going to come here and create of type public float and let's call it underscore ambient dim time and I'm going to make this equal to zero point and then I'm going to have treble zero one F and we'll close the line off through experimentation I found that a very low number works well with the ambient dim time but of course as always you'll want to experiment with this value to find one that suits your project but I do find it tends to need to be lower than the sun but uh, let's get into the comments we'll say speed at which ambient light is and let's just say adjusted and in fact I'll keep the comments fairly consistent so we'll say define speed at which the ambient light is adjusted and we'll come below and of type public float and we just need to create a list of variables similar to what we did with the intensity so again this is going to be dawn ambient intensity and I'm going to make mine equal to 0.5 F and we'll close the line off Again, all these values I'm going to be putting in the intensity are just for testing purposes. So it's easy for you all to see when I actually test the script out in these videos. But as always, experiment. And let's just go through and put in the comments. So dawn ambient, we can say dawn ambient strength. So let's just copy this and we'll paste it in so there's paste it in twice and the last one so let's just go through and change what needs to be changed so this one the second one down will change to underscore day and let's give this a value of one and We'll just go through and we'll change the comments as we go. So day ambient intensity and dusk for the next. Um, yeah, let's give this value of 0 
and then we want the night and let's just give this a value of zero this may be a little bit too much but as I say experiment with the values these are just for testing so we have our ambient intensity floats in place exactly the same as what we did for the Sun here so let's come now to void awake and I'm going to come here so we're setting the day phase tonight and let's set the uh, ambient intensity to night as well so let's go through this not line we need to access the render settings in order to access this so let's come here so we'll say render settings and we want dot and then we want the ambient intensity what we're actually adjusting here so let's come back and we're going to say that's going to be equal to our night time so night ambient intensity will close the line off and let's put this into the comments let's say something like render settings ambient intensity is equal to night on startup and I'll probably have to go through and tidy up these comments but let's save that off there and let's go and test it out so we'll downsize mono develop so let's put this here we can see the directional light intensity here at one and we can also see the ambient intensity here also a value of one so these should set to zero once the game starts and because we're going straight into dawn because we we're still starting just a second before dawn so let's hit play and see what happens so we're in night and as you can see the directional lights going up the ambient intensity has gone to zero now as I said in the script you may find this a little bit too strong but it's good for testing it makes it easier to see in the videos and of course this isn't going to go up yet let's stop that there because we'll need the code in place in our voids for each one of the states so we'll do that in the next video and we'll just do a full video on that and I think we'll leave it here for this lesson so as always I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you next time and until then bye for now